like this the story of like how Darren and us came together and it also been brought like the Idaho Monies closer like this this thing we got going. Yeah. The cool thing is is the annual gathering that it is. It's it actually is. made us come yeah. closer. What was it, twenty nineteen, right? When yeah. you guys tell me I'm not I, good I, at this. I forget which it was a twenty three and me or it was the other yeah, one. Yeah, twenty three. Twenty three and me. Put yeah. your DNA on the site and you have yeah. no idea which one it is. Yeah, you fools. <laughs> oh, I'm on both. Oh, you're on both. Okay. I'm on both. Okay, so, uh, okay. so I'm, I'm a little pissed one. about that because that means my quick, DNA is out there. Yeah. Thousands of years ago, lava exploded out of the ground, igniting a peaceful forest and lighting up the sky. So anyways, I get this message, you have a new relative, and it's like, oh, it's like a fourth cousin or something. It's like, oh my god, no, it says first cousin. Like, first cousin, okay. So this ought to be easy to figure out, right? Like, okay, there's there's my mom's sister, Aunt Jerry. Like, no, there's no way. She, like, she yeah. has one daughter, and yeah. there's no way she had, like, some secret... And it's the age, the age knew, we knew the age, right? And we knew, yeah, yeah. I knew, I knew when you were born, it's like, yeah. okay, there's my Uncle Timmy, no, he was 12 years old when yeah. you were born, so it's not him, and it's like, Aunt Chris, no, she would know, she's not going to have some secret child, so it's like, I don't think this is a first cousin, yeah. and it's like, it turns out it's about the same amount of DNA you share with a half-brother as you share with a first cousin. Now, didn't, didn't you also match with uh, Sean? Yeah, yeah, Sean mm-hmm. popped out as okay. a cousin okay. or something. So but, yeah, so I so, so we sent messages first, and I said I think you're a brother. And then it wasn't too long after that you called you called me. Okay, I called. Me. And I was on a bike ride, and my phone rang. And I was like, Oh my god, this is him. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I so I just stopped on the bike path, and we talked for a while. Yeah. And at that point, I think you had already talked to to Sean. Okay, maybe I did because I talked to Sean, and then Sean's like, Oh man, he said, Wait a minute, wait a minute, I had to call my mom. I mean, are you, you know what? No. Hey, come on and ask him, hey, is there, is there a brother that I don't yeah, know about? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was like, Thank he you. was totally they like. Said that. And then Dave started calling us. Uh-huh. And uh, I don't think either Eric or I were, were very shocked. No, <laughs> no, not no, no, no. It was not a matter, it wasn't a matter of if, it was a matter of when uh-huh. we'd get this. Exactly. Because uh, my uh, dad has always said, well, yeah, there was that girl that was pregnant around the same time I got your mom pregnant and I had to decide like which one to marry so there's oh. someone around your age out there that somewhere. was Jeannie that was Jeannie oh boy mm-hmm. okay. and she story. lived at our house I knew oh. she and I shared a room together that's a story I have not heard it, oh you Jeannie and she just yeah. walked off the face of the earth yeah. I think we're gonna end up with a sister here soon <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so then anyways I uh I think we exchanged pictures at some point or somehow or yeah. maybe we like like Brought we, each other yeah. on Facebook or whatever, and as soon as at I saw point, your that picture, was no doubt. I texted yeah, it to these guys. It's you like, showed, yeah, you sent us this is on Brian. Yeah. We looked at your profile. Sure. We're like, yeah, that I, is I, a spitting image. He looks more like a Monty than any of us. I started <laughs> questioning my Monty-ness. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, am I Monty? <laughs> <laughs> I, I showed the picture of you. I, I put our side by side somehow, uh-huh. and showed some, or I showed him your my your picture. And I said, where were you at in that picture? I said, no, that's yeah. that's my brother, the one that you've been, we've been, like, they were searching on the internet, trying to find out information, where did they live, they, they had the whole up north thing going. And... Huh. Yeah, I know, I can see the rocks. From your side, you were adopted, you had wonderful adoptive parents, and you didn't go seeking out your biological um, family until after they were gone. Yeah, they when when we had when we were having the girls, I think my mom gave she said you might want to know or something. You know, they had very little information. It was just a little sheet of paper that said your mom had dark hair, she was this tall, your dad was this, and like sports, outdoors, athletic, or something like that. It was very vague. You know, a couple sentences. Yeah. On the, 
And it was your biological mom who probably put that information in there. Like, yeah, probably. Dad exactly. never, yeah. Dad never yeah. knew. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So it was what she yeah. knew about that. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's why I was more curious of what yeah. that actually said yeah. is how much. Yeah, out there. Yeah. I don't know, it made me wish I was adopted. <laughs> <laughs> came up first in 2021 then you you decided to fly out to portland yeah by yourselves uh, <laughs> yeah. and that was, yourself. some people said wait you don't even know these people you're going up to stay with them. <laughs> i'm like uh well i didn't think nothing of it and they were they were saying you, know, you that, might not ever meet eric eric kind of well stayed. <laughs> the point is for the longest time eric's like eric's like i don't know if i want to have anything to do with him but not in that mean way but he didn't realize that you were put up for adoption you thought you know you're just like some random, you know, just guy some guy that came out of the woodwork. Out of the woodwork. Like, yeah, and Eric was really kind of standoffish about it huh. the whole time. Yeah, and then I had to explain to him. <laughs> yeah, like, I was. I'm like, Eric, no, he was, you know, Dad didn't even know that he was out there, and it, he was he was put out for adoption. And, here and, to explain know. a little bit of that, I felt like, and I still kind of feel this way that I was cheated. Oh yeah, out of a child, out of out, 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 out of knowing you brother. as a child, yeah. out, out of yeah, out yeah. of a brother. Yeah. I, Run around, yeah, throw rocks, chase them. I, yeah. I actually think just the, the youth. Eric, the, Eric was concerned that you were going to come after the Monty Millions. Oh yeah, wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that was a big that, that nest egg. Yeah. That nest egg really. So. <laughs> hey, that was, so that was some of the crazy thoughts I had too, as being adopted. It's like you, I kind of, kind of like we talked about. You talked about you were raised in the strict, strict and the kind of loosey goosey, I guess. Yeah, and yeah. you, you, you know, you could do this or you could do that or you can. Find, you know, find your own, yeah, yeah towards your own middle reality, yeah. ground or whatever. But I, I always thought that it's like, okay, so what if I find out, you know, she was a prostitute or something? I, <laughs> and, or what if they were like <laughs> yeah, reality, famous yeah. actors that got together and just decided, you know, not to, to keep this quiet? Yeah, we yeah. didn't, yeah. And, and, and maybe they got millions and yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to be sad, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no no you, you got us, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. a little bait and switch there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But then I, I remember uh, going and picking you up at the Portland airport. I was really nervous. Like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, sure, you were. Uh, like, uh, you like, know what? I don't know. No? I don't know. I'm kind of easy going. I don't know. Well, that's the feeling I got from talking to you on the phone. Yeah. It's like, no, I think this is going to be good. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh! oh. oh. This is like the government. <laughs> <laughs> Lacey and Taylor and Peyton. I'm curious, what's this What's this been like for, for you guys? Like, did your dad tell you when he was like sending his DNA in and doing all Actually, that? Actually, yeah. Yeah? He did. Yeah. And he did. we thought it was really cool. Yeah. Because yeah. I was like, hmm, I'm kind of curious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a weird journey because um, he was never really that interested in like finding his birth family and adopted parents. Uh -huh. And then all of a sudden we like got on this train and then suddenly like he was hearing from people and reaching out and then it's crazy to find out that he has 
what four or he's the fourth right yeah, yeah of four, us like, and you can totally see the difference like uh -huh. the subtle difference between you guys like, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. it's just weird to find that more family right yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. right and then he sent a picture and i'm like oh my god yeah. my yeah. <laughs> you guys look so yeah, yeah. 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 He came up the first time by himself. Uh, it sounded like just kind of just check out the scene, and then what happened? Uh, yeah. yeah, it seemed yeah. like it was so quick. Like he came up, and then he, it was like we're planning a trip. Like we're all. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like all right, when's the next time we're yeah. going? Yeah, you guys are all coming next and time. And we were all really looking forward to it because we don't have that many cousins. Oh, yeah, uh -huh. we don't. We have yeah. two cousins, and uh -huh. then and we don't see them that much anymore after uh -huh. COVID. Yeah. So it's like now we have this whole new family uh -huh. of like guys, girls, our age. Like it's really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like a big family too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's really fun. It's weird thing was when I was up there, Connie and uh, Connie and Don's, house. Don's house, and I'm sitting at this end of the table talking to whoever I was, and then I kind of just turned my head, and Carrie and Mason go put their heads down. <laughs> They're like, I'm like, wait, you know, it's the first time we were meeting, and they were like discussing oh. <laughs> mannerism. That's when it came out. Yeah. It was like, oh, so your mannerism, you. yeah. No, I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And, <laughs> and then some, <laughs> they, yeah, I caught him watching. Yeah, and someone said, oh, do you feel like you're in a fishbowl? And I'm like, yeah. well, not really, but, but, but kind now, of. But now I do. <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny. Yeah. Crazy seeing like some similarities and like, oh, yep, you're related to me. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know. Yeah. Like when he first came up too, it's like, oh my god, you see like the way he stands or yeah, like, you know, this, you know, just little your, things. Your guys, don't you both always blink in photos too? Oh my god, I, I have so many like kid you. photos of me like this. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Hey, I remember him when he came home from the, his first trip to you guys. Uh -huh. He was like, they keep telling me I have such similar mannerisms. Like, I think to like your dad, uh -huh. and he was like, I don't know what that means. Like they're just like watching me. Yeah. And I was like. <laughs> interesting yeah. to we nature versus nurture your I was, I was actually just gonna bring that up yeah. it's kind of that's an interesting thing what are we gonna say about it though I mean I, I have no clue you guys yeah. know yeah. the traits and the attributes and whatnot right, right. and yeah. how you guys are saying oh you laugh like him or you you did this like him or whatever like you know dad did that or oh yeah I see that and, 
Yeah. I think uh, the interesting, the nature versus nurse thing to me was just the what you do for a living versus like there you fall the girl. I like numbers too. You like numbers, I mean, but yeah, but that's, see, that's as, a, as young. Yeah, but that's a like he ended up in computers and mm-hmm. counting. Followed dad in accounting. You know, you grew up in a different household. But. So my dad. Well, he was in, he was, you know, out in the field, you know, phone repair. Yeah, so, right. doing the poles, climbing the poles, in the house. Sean, Tracy, Eric, and I would always hang out. We'd always have a great time. And all of a sudden, we're like, God, who farted? <laughs> right? And like, oh my God, that's terrible. And so we play this game, like, okay, no one fessed up. No one said, like, hey, I did it. It was me. Like, you know, usually kids would be like, yeah, that was me. Yeah, it was me. I did it. <laughs> like, no one's like, no one's like, no one said that. So we're like, okay, here's what we're going to do. You smell their ass. You smell their ass. You smell their ass. You smell their ass. And we'll find out who did it. And then we did that. <laughs> Right? Like, like, okay, let me go up there. Okay, nope, you're good. Nope, you're good. And I can't remember who it was. It was either Eric or, or Tracy. No, 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 sure. I think it was Tracy. I think it was Tracy. Do you remember that? I think I remember that. No, 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 please. Say, I remember that was Tracy. <laughs> and then I kind of got high school. I got a little off track there. Started partying. Yeah. That's, yeah, Eric's like, really? So, like, at 21 is when I, I think I probably said it before, that's when I, you know, I was drinking and smoking, and, and then, you know, I got sick of it, you know, in high school. It's every Friday, going out early, getting out, and then the people I hung out with, you were drinking or smoking. Well, that's one thing you you did differently than Dad. Dad never got out of that phase. (laughs) He continued on until the day he died. And I got... Oh. Oh. Whoa! Oh my gosh! Whoa! What is the most surprising thing about this whole thing? Like, what has surprised you the most? To me, it feels like I've not, not known you guys forever, but yeah. it's like, oh, we're coming back for summer vacation or Christmas yeah. or whatever. Okay. It's like we see each other. The, the annual yeah, once a year, yeah. yeah, yeah. And it's was, like it doesn't feel it doesn't feel, new. It feels it was, like yeah. we've no, been it, in our life all agree, along. Yeah. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah. That's what how like that was the most surprising thing to me is how natural it was just yeah. all of a sudden like everyone just like just blends together and, uh-huh. and gets along and has a great time together. That was pretty yeah. Yeah. from the kids I mean, to yeah. to the adults. Yeah, yeah family cool. family can be tricky. Yeah. For sure, <laughs> yeah. I mean yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna put you down for a nap. <laughs> no, I'm not. we don't take naps, Aunt Chris. <laughs> so it was Aunt Chrissy. Okay. I'm, not, Chrissy. I'm not tired, Aunt Chrissy. I'm not tired. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of editing. Yes, yeah, <laughs> that's fine.
your dad would have. It would have been. Oh shit! He would have been. Lost. You would have been the favorite. You would have been the favorite side. Right it would have been Think, like because sure. I was the long lost. Because you were no trouble for him. Yeah. It would have. It would have made. It would have made. It, it honestly would have been on cloud nine to to learn with you. This is, and that, that's one disappointment. This whole thing is that yeah. he's not here. To- Cooks well, out. Thanks a lot. Yeah.